y'all this is the one let me go do a price check please please be what price i think you are let me put these right in this bag real quick and i just told her i promised that that was the last price check lord forgive me for that let me go and turn hey the ossifer ossifer dang just gotta do one more one more one more Una mas, una mas. I promise. I know I said that last time, but I didn't see these at first. And these are the ones I was looking for. Please let them be on clearance. 79 cents. 79 cents. Yay! Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all see that? 79 cents. I'm about to get them. I'm about to get them. I saw that big 24 and I got excited. I'm so excited. See, I told you it, it helps to venture out. Just keep driving. The store that was closed on me, I am going to check them tomorrow. Three, four, five. <laughs> okay. Um, I wish she can come back here with the handheld and check these because I don't remember seeing these, but I haven't heard that those were on clearance. Excuse me, do you have a price checker on you? I do not. You don't? Okay. I don't want to have to just keep taking everything back up there, but I'll just get these. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. She put she was pushing her earpiece in. I wonder if the girl in the front just told her, you know that toilet paper she just got was 79 cents. See, they don't even be knowing. It said $7.99. Any more end caps with toilet paper anywhere? Oh, people are in line, so I'll get in the regular line. So yeah, oh shit. now she's telling me to go over there. <laughs> So y'all see it was worth it trying to stand outside that door trying to get in like I was waiting out there to get in the club and security wouldn't let me in. I'm going to check this card too to see if anything's left on here. Y'all know I used to think that was like the customer's name. I'm like, who the hell is Dwayne Reed? one if you got it. If I swipe this, will it tell me if anything's on here? Because I don't even know. I hope it don't ask for no pen or nothing. I don't think it will. This ain't even scratched off. Does this supposed to be scratched off to swipe it or no? No. Okay. You have a dollar off though on your reward you want to redeem it? Oh, is this a dollar off on there? On your rewards, yeah. You want to use it? A dollar off coupon? Or are you talking about the points? No, your points. It's only a dollar? What you have off on your on your membership, on your reward card, yeah. I should have five dollars in points to use. It's a dollar. What was the subtotal before tax? Four seventy-four. That's why. Can I add a piece of candy? It has to be at five dollars even. That's why it's the five dollars not popping up. Okay. What's your cheapest candy you got that'll bring it up to five dollars? You got one for like thirty some cents. Uh, right there, little, uh, yeah. Where? Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna eat it. I'm just I'm trying to get up the five dollars chat. Now 
not sure it showed that I have at least five dollars to use. And what's the subtotal now? What's the subtotal? It's worth seventy four plus thirty nine cents. So it should go. It should have gone. I don't know. I was planning on using that $5, so I don't know. Can you ask them to see why it's not coming up? Because I got points on there. Hey, Melissa. Look on this last receipt. I just left the store. Hey, can you? Uh, yeah. That's my balance, y'all. Right there. From the last store. Waiting on management. Mm -hmm. My apologies, guys. We're waiting on the manager. Look at beautiful toilet paper. Well, somebody had the munchie. She probably gonna take you over there because they waiting on the manager to come up. Yeah. She's just not coming up here barking and shit. Um, hey. Um, she was saying that I have a dollar available. And I, first the subtotal was like four seventy five, so I threw in a piece of candy to get it up to five because I was figuring that's why it's not showing that I have five dollars in points available. And she said it still shows a dollar. So, so what, your reward? Yeah. So we're trying to see what happened. I can't see the screen, so I don't know what's the deal. I literally just left another store so I can see I got you know points here. Is it for Maya? Yeah. Yeah, it's only showing a dollar. Can you ring that candy again then? Whatever she put up there. I don't know where she put it. Where'd you put the candy? Can we void it and do this again or something? Cause I, I'm, is there a way you can see my total balance? I know it's showing you what's available to use. Is there any way you can see like how many points I have in total? You should be able to see it on your receipt. Yeah, I know, but I wanted you guys to see so you can see like this is wrong. It's showing me only one dollar available, but I don't have that available. Use your no, I just left the store. The other Walgreens, nope, and came right here. Yeah, it's eleven ten. I've been in there running my mouth this whole time with the cashier for about 30 minutes and she was telling me you know how the um manager mistreats them and how the one employee that i love um quit because i was like um i heard such and such retired and she whispered to me she said no she quit and she was telling me a customer was berating her and treating her so bad and um the manager had already been you know aggravating her and stuff and just mistreating her and then that one customer just did it and she walked out and i was like what I wish I would have been here. That shit wouldn't have happened on my watch because she is literally so nice, the lady that we're talking about. She doesn't bother anybody. So I just couldn't believe that, you know? I had to defend her one other time and I almost fought right here in the same store when a customer was just talking all kind of trash to her. I don't know if y'all remember that. It was about a, um, a booster. The thing said, $5 back you know, when you spend 25 or more. And the lady was thinking she was getting $5 off and she kept trying to explain to her what it meant. And she was like, no, this is what it says, blah, blah, blah. So I had to step in cause she went to cursing her out and stuff like that. And then I ran into another friend. Then we were talking about men and I let them know how all of them cheat. I don't care what nobody say. If you think that's a controversial subject, fast forward now. But like I told them, if you get that in your head that all men cheat, it won't hurt so bad when it does happen and you find it out. I don't care if they coming home on time, they leaving on time, there's no signs, no red flags, baby. Y'all know what my old profession used to be. I wasn't a whore or nothing like that, no tricking, but I know what I'm talking about. 
Um, but yeah, so we just were talking about a whole bunch of stuff. That's why I'm still at the store. It's gonna be midnight before I get home. I'll see y'all then. Toodle. What's up, YouTube friends, family, associates, subscribers, and members? Hey, y'all. Listen, um, y'all probably watching this video on the 30th of August. So I'm gonna need y'all to run to Walgreens. Like, run, but like, don't speed. And, you know, like, just get there quick. Okay, because these are some awesome deals 90% off deals. Ladies, don't worry about your bra. Um, you might need to put on some shoes. You might need to put on a shirt too. They never say anything about a bra, but I know most signs says no shirt, no shoes, no service. They say nothing about no bra, no service. So if you can eliminate the bra, you might be able to get that faster, okay? Listen, Epsom salt. I'm gonna just show y'all these items. Um, too many people don't really ask for UPC numbers in my other videos besides Dollar General. But I'm going to just show them to you. You can pause the video and look at it if you need it. That's for the green bag. Not sure if it has different UPC numbers, but it should. What does that one end in? 1679. Why are my arm shaking like that? Like it's heavy. And that one was 1686. Okay, two different numbers. So as you, as you can see, I got three bags. I mean, not three bags. I got six bags. Okay, four of the green ones two of the blue bags which is um lavender all right um that was at one store i also got these two advanced moisturizing creams at one store these are comparable to CeraVe. so basically the same thing it's just not the CeraVe brand it's the walgreens brand but the same exact ingredients okay so this will go to um my son and um soleil and sarai because they have um somewhat of dry skin not as bad as my son's but they will be using this too just like i use the gold bond and the user and everything like that on them as well so that was all at one store and i'm um, trying to make sure that's it for this receipt right here oh and also um these chewables acid reducer completes okay y'all saw the original price for these i'm like are you kidding me there's a 50 count in these um, there's the UPC number for that one. Pause it if you need it. And I don't think I showed the UPC number for these. Okay. Just look. Ask for a price check. If your store does not have an orange sticker and it's not tagged, please ask for a price check. Um, unfortunately, I only found these at one store. These at one store. Um, every store had different sales. That's normally not what happens. Normally, every store I go to have the same clearance. So that was a first. Where I went to, I think, three or four more stores after I found these items. And none of the same items were on clearance. I believe that was actually a first that that happened. So I also had a dollar and fifty cent off digital coupon for the Walgreens brand Epsom salt. And y'all, when I tell you to check in the IBC booklet, which is the coupon booklet found in the front of any Walgreens you go into, sometimes they have them at the register. You can just ask for an IVC booklet or a coupon booklet, okay? I is in Igloo, V is in Victor, C is in Charlie. IVC. And they also, this is the table of contents, okay? They have Walgreens brands coupons in here. So don't think this is just brand name. So look, Walgreens Oral Relief Spray, page 49. Let me show y'all. Because y'all know I'm shoddy with the receipt, so I got to bring the receipts to show y'all the proof. Because people just be saying anything, even though I don't say anything, but I have this to back myself up. Just in case someone calls BS. Okay, page 49. Is this page 49? Yeah, glasses on. It looks like it. Okay. I see allergy nasal spray. Oh, there it is. Walgreens Oral Relief. See, this is a Walgreens brand, and they got a 50 cent off coupon for these. Most of these coupons, if not all of them, you can also find on the app. Some people just clip them if they're store coupons and manufacturer coupons and just send them to their card. So they don't need the booklet. They can just type in their number. However, I've heard some people say their store coupons do not come off when they type in their number. So I always have the book as a backup. And um, for instance, if you, for the newbies now, I know you guys know, but... Say, for instance, you found 10 of these, and they were 
on clearance for a dollar, which this stuff is high. And you got a $5 off. They don't need to scan this coupon 10 times. They only need to scan it one time and it will apply 10 times and then $50 will come off. Five times 10, 50, right? So that's it. With the IVC coupons, they only need to scan it once. And everything that they rung up that's in your cart or in the register, the um, computer will see and it will apply the coupon to each qualifying item, okay? As many of them as you have. All right, let's get to this receipt, baby. Ooh, look at all those beautiful Epsom sauce. Let's see the prices, honey. So remember I told you guys, not only were the Epsom salts 49 cents, okay? And not only did we have a digital coupon for, th for them, but they were also buy one and get one 50% off. So you see the first one here, 49 cents. The second one, 24 cents. The third one, 49 cents. The fourth one, 24 cents. The fifth one, 49 cents. The sixth one, 24 cents. Buy one, get one half off. So it doesn't matter if these were 10 cents. You will get the second one for 5 cents. It does not matter. If it says buy one, get one half off, that is not only on um, regular price items or sale price items. I've had cashiers tell me that. One time they rang up, like say for instance, they rung up all the Epsom salt. Because I think I said this at the register and I was like, oh, I'm not going to see the sale price until I type in my number. Because they all said 49 cents at first. But if you're not, if you're a Walgreens member, why did I say Walgreens like that? <laughs> if you're a Walgreens member, you have a rewards account, which is free at every store. Um, just the phone number makes a difference. So if I wasn't a Walgreens member, I would have paid 49 cents each for these because they were on clearance for 49 cents. But because I have a rewards account with Walgreens, I got them for buy one, get one 50% off. So that's why you guys didn't see it change to 49 cent, 24 cent, 49 cent to 24 cent until I typed in my phone number. Okay, they were all 49 cents at first, but once I typed in the number, then I got the um, sale, which was the BOGO, buy one, get one 50. So um, the last thing down here, is where well, the last couple things is this um somewhat CeraVe cream. I keep forgetting what is it? Advanced moisturizing cream. That right there. These these were also buy one get one fifty percent off. Okay, I found those two. So I paid one twenty nine for one, and then I paid sixty four cents for the second one. Okay, and then there are the um the antacids or whatever those things is right there. Acid reducers. Y'all see that? Regular price, $19.99, but I got them tonight, well, last night now because it's after midnight. I got them last night for 90% off at $1.99. And at the bottom of the Walgreens receipts, that's where you'll see all the coupons. It's not like Dollar General where you would see them right next to or under the product on the receipt. All of the coupons will be at the bottom um, if they came off. So the only coupon I had for this transaction was for the Epsom salt, and that was $1.50 that came off, which was okay with me because... Most of these items, I mean, a dollar fifty came off maybe like three or four of them. Cause look what the price forty nine cent and twenty four cent. So a total of a dollar fifty came off. My subtotal was four dollars and sixty one cents. And of course, y'all already know Florida was petty enough to charge me fourteen cents in tax. So my total sale came up to four dollars and seventy five cents. But no, 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 I used points. I redeemed four dollars in points. And my total sale out the door, out the store for all of these items, the Epsom salt, the skin cream, the acid peels, the trubles, I paid 75 cents total out the door and out the store, baby, baby, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. I paid 75 cents. Tell me I ain't bad. Let me get on to the next one. So remember, once um, I was done with this transaction, then I found two more. I believe that's how it was. Let me see if this is at the same store. Um, yep, it was at the same store. So I found two more of these and got those for buy one, get one 50% off as well. And y'all see the date on there, August 30th. See, 9.09 p.m. Last night, 129.64 cents. Subtotal, 193. Total with tax. Two dollars and seven cents. Florida was petty with that fourteen cent tax again, but I didn't pay two oh seven. I redeemed two dollars in points, and I paid seven cents out of pocket for these pretty babies right here. 
Next one. I believe this was a steal right here. And this would have been an even better deal had we had digital coupons. We always have coupons for userin, But that's okay. Because y'all know how expensive this stuff is. And my son and my baby, Sarai, I rubbed this on her um, at night after a bath. And it really softens the skin and works. Okay. So $2.39 each for these. When they were regular, regularly priced at $9.49 at Walgreens and I think $12 at CVS. And I buy these. But normally I'm using CRTs, coupons, and all that to make it really, really cheap. But I never get it down to $2 and something, okay? So, $2.39 for this user room right here, baby. If y'all don't get to those stores, I know something. If you can't use it and you got it like that and you're blessed enough to be wealthy, please go purchase this stuff. This is the type of stuff that really needs to be donated because people that live in shelters and stuff like that, they can't afford this. If they're living in a shelter, they cannot afford this and they probably don't have the knowledge um, about couponing, the knowledge of couponing. So like, if you can, I'm only talking to the people that are able and wealthy enough to do it. You don't even have to be wealthy, but if you're able and you just have extra money, Go out and look for these clearance items, please. If, if it's not the Eucerin, it could be the um, Walgreens brand. Y'all know I'm not big on brand names or name brand, whichever way you want to say it. It has the same freaking ingredients. The same ingredients. It's just the name you're paying for. Remember I told you guys I had to explain that with my children, with crayons and stuff like that. They were like, Crayola is the name brand and this ain't no name brand. I was like, it is a brand. It's just not a brand that you're familiar with. The Eucerin company, they got money to go pay for commercials and billboards and all that stuff to get their name out there. This is only a brand name to you because you've seen it so much and you've seen it everywhere because they have the money to promote, promote, and advertise. Walgreens, they're not going to make a commercial for their Walgreens Advanced Moisturizing Cream. So, you know, if I make this and I put Sade with the receipts on it, what are you going to say? Oh, that's an off-brand because it was made by Sade's company. I probably got better ingredients in there than the brand name company <laughs> that you guys call it. But you don't know it because I don't have the money to advertise and promote. You know what I'm saying? So that was just a little rundown on that. But $2.39, this one 80 cents. I honestly believe this was the wrong one and in the wrong spot because I see that he modified the price. And you will also see that on the receipt. This was tonight, August 30th, 9.36 p.m. Um, you'll see a total right here of $9.56 because he um, just did the quantity. He put four at $2.39 each. As you can see, I got four. One, two, three, four userins. So four of those totaled $9.56. That's the price of one, but I got four, okay? And then there's the trousers, the stockings right here, the West Loop, 80 cents, but it says MOD, so he modified it. He had to make that 80 cents. Okay, and then I just got cheese balls. Don't worry about the cheese balls, $7.99. See, $8, my total would have been 10 something. But I had to get me some cheese balls. But that's okay, I redeemed $10 in points. And I paid $9, excuse me, and eight cents out of pocket, okay? Now drum roll, baby, let's get what y'all came here for. Baby, 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 baby. Again, shout out to my moderator, Tammy, for giving me this info about the toilet paper. I'm not done. I'm going to more Walgreens stores tomorrow, guys. I sure am. I sure am. I have one pack, two pack, three packs, four packs, five pack, six packs. And guess who don't have toilet paper in their stockpile? I got a few things of bamboo toilet paper, and that's it. I don't have any toilet paper hardly in my stockpile. So I'm keeping all these. Y'all know I give away toilet paper like crazy. I'm keeping these. I have a family of seven. Okay? So toilet paper goes fast. I wish I can find flushable wipes, you know, on clearance and stuff like that because we use those as well. But these bad boys right here, make sure you're looking for the six mega equals 24 regular rolls. Okay? It will say six mega. Just remember equals 24. If you can remember mega and 24, because I had to keep going back to look at the picture. If you can remember mega and 24, you'll remember that. Because before I looked at the picture, I was like, oh, I think these are it. Because I remembered mega and 24. I didn't remember regular rolls and six and 
ultra so I didn't remember that I knew it was blue but that's what helped me and as soon as I saw them I almost got all of them and went and did a price check but I just took one but you guys don't do that if you find them grab them all because in that time frame where I took that one up there to do a price check somebody could have been coming up another aisle and found them and got them all so when I went back to get them they could have been gone so you guys saw at this store they were not tagged the cashier was shocked and the manager was shocked. They didn't know that these were 79 cents. They were tagged at $7.99 still. And that's probably why they were still sitting there because for $7.99, you can get the regular Charmin or Scott or whatever else. You know what I'm saying? 79 cents. Let's get into this receipt. All right. Here's the receipt. August 30th, 1042 p.m. This particular store closes at midnight. Okay. CH, that stands for Complete Home. Okay, and y'all see this is comparable to Charmin as well. Same thing, like we were just talking about, just a different brand. Six at 79 cents. So for six packs of these bad boys right here, I paid $4.74. My subtotal was $4.74. Florida was petty enough to charge me 33 cents in tax. So my total sale was $5.07. It came up to $5.07. And then I was only able to redeem $1 in points. And that was my fault, guys. I had totally forgot I redeemed that $10. And I'm like, um, it should be $5 available there. But I apologized and told them because she had to go get the manager and everything. And I'm just sitting there waiting. And I finally was able to log in because I wasn't getting any service. And I saw that I only had a dollar left. I've been swiping and typing and using all my points. <laughs> but she don't use it anyway. That's my daughter's account. But anyway i used the dollar in points and my total sale out the door out the store for six packs of 24 roll toilet paper four dollars and seven cents four dollars and seven cents if y'all don't get out there right now it's six rolls in here two four six but it equals 24 okay they're big as you can see they're big all right and I'm going to get in bed, enjoy my cheese balls, get me a towel or something to clean my hands off or find me some baby wipes and get it in. I will be at a few more stores in a city near you tomorrow. Please hit that subscribe button. It is free if you haven't already. Please comment below and engage with me and engage with others. And also comment below if you have any questions and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Please hit the thumbs up, meaning like it. If you dislike it, hell, give me the thumbs down. If you really dislike it or dislike me, go ahead and give me one of those. The option is somewhere. But I might give you one back. Please tell a friend to tell a friend about Sade with the receipts. And last but not least, please share, share, share if you dare, honey. And I will see you guys on the next video. Toodles.